Sheep is dating a sister? Oh. Um, oh, it's not his sister. It's his girlfriend. Oh. Short oh. distance romance. Fez, I thought you said that you and uh, that you told me Sheepy was gay. Yeah, yeah. He's thought... dating a very cute girl. Huh. Things have changed then. And I don't know whether she broke up with Maddie Fridays and is going out with Sheepy now. I don't know what the whole story is. <laughs> but uh, he has a twi- Is it What do you call a, uh, a Twitter but pick? Twit pick. Is that it? Mm-hmm. Sounds stupid. He has a twit pick cover. Go ahead and put her up. So you said that uh, you had a nice talk with him. Yeah, I did. Yeah. And I thought he was uh, clear on where he was at. Um, what did he tell you? That he was gay. Let's take a look. Looks like he's a traitor to the cause. I'll tell you, this Twitter keeps you caught up with everybody. Oh, everybody. It's the new thing. I'm telling you. You know what? When we first started to talk about it, it's a million times bigger. Yeah, I know. Okay, Twitpick. This one, I guess? I don't know. He, I, he posted upside, upside down. down. <laughs> All right, well, then get it right side right. I can't. What? <laughs> There's no way to twi- turn that? <laughs> I don't well, she's cute. She is, though. If You you have to look at it upside down. Yeah, you got to go from the angle. Well, Fez, you must have talked to him straight. Or else he just wanted a free meal out of you. Maybe that's what it was. Got him some free guacamole. I was used. All right, I got a spy report here. Spy report. Spy report. And from what I understand, there's a large brouhaha going on right now uh, across the Internet that Fez outed Sheepy when Sheepy has never outed himself even to his friends. Oh, and. Some of them are saying, "Finally, out it." Or why doesn't? How would Fez feel if Sheepy outed him? All right, more on this uh, spy report. Spy report to follow. But apparently, the internet is a buzz right now. A buzz, Dave. Twitter it. I'm Twitter it immediately. Tw- right. Where's my cell phone? Yeah. Twitter what do you it want immediately. Me to say? Uh, Outings galore. Yeah. <laughs> Outings, Lord. Fez out at Sheepy. What if Sheepy outs Fez? More to follow. Okay. Uh, John, you're on a Fez. Hey, it's a very exciting show going on there, Ronnie B. Yeah. Uh, the Internet's a buzz. Uh, we're outing people. <laughs> um, Fe- uh, Sheepy was just working what? Um, I'm going to check Dave's Twitter next. If anybody wants an update here, it's... Uh, oh. Okay, now they're saying if he talked to Fez, it was in confidence, not something he wanted out there. Let me go back and quote, uh, because the internet is a buzz here, Fez. Uh-huh. We're outing people. This is what Fez said just moments ago about his friend um, um, Sheepy. Nice big faggot of the opera hat for outerwear. <laughs> wow, so there you had it, uh, followed by this. The faggot of the opera. All right, uh, we are radio's version of uh, uh, Out Magazine. Let me check uh, our Feast Side Dave Twitters and see what's up there. Fez just outed Sheepy. What if Sheepy outs Fez? Hmm. Interesting. You heard hey, it here first. I, I, I some, may have misspoken. I need. Um, I know the truth is scary, Fez. The last thing anybody wants to be is truthful. Um, but I need some kind of a new drop for when I'm checking on a uh, Twitter. It should be like uh, uh, like uh, kind of a who's the Twitter. Okay. But And I need that 10 minutes ago because, uh, you know, I like to chat. But I want everybody um, to uh, – and I see some Beatle fans are mad. You're a Beatle maniac. Right yeah, well, I mean, I just think that the fact that you can't say the Beatles haven't influenced people. But I no, mean, they, the, Radiohead is a Beatles influence. I mean, everyone is. But they're not gigantic anymore. They don't dominate the scene. Kurt, Kurt Cobain said, it, w- during the end of his life, said, I want Nirvana to go from I want to hold your hand to Sgt. Pepper's. Basically saying he wants the exact same career that... The Beatles had. Again, you're going back to the early 90s. I think if you're being totally honest, 
the Michael Jackson era and his influence but, lasted longer than the Beatles' influence. But, Ronnie, what Let I'm saying is... Let me just go to, to a Twitter yeah. right now. Okay. I want everybody to guess this Twitter. First of all, famous or a friend, and then guess the, um, uh, the Twitter. Fuck everyone trying over MJ, crying over MJ in these tributes. Where was the attention to his musical genius the last 15 years? Nowhere. All poses. All right. uh, Friend or famous? I would say famous. Friend. Uh, Hicks, friend or famous? Famous. Fez, who do you think it is? I think it's John Mayer. John Mayer. Good call. Uh, Hicks? Dane Cook. Dane Cook? I said friend, so I'll say anthonycumia.com. Check this out. Fuck everyone crying over MJ and these tributes. Where was all the attention to his musical genius in the last 15 years? Nowhere. All poses. That, of course, was E-Rock Radio. So, oh. <laughs> close. Oh. E-Rock, seriously. Save the closest. E-Rock on his Twitter is not a way, new update on uh, our fee side. Outings galore. So, do you say now you want to roll it back and say that you lied? I will say I lied. Yes. I will say that I lied. As long as you swear to Jesus, we'll move on from there. Swear to Jesus that you lied. No, I don't want to swear to Jesus. Gotcha. Perfect. Good. Oh I'll, I'll, hey. I'll Twitter that. <laughs> I'll Twitter my emotions about that. <laughs> That's coming up on our Feast Side Dave. Because any thought should be out there immediately. Now, by the way, you, you uh, right. enjoy listening to the ONA show, right? Yeah. Would you ever expect E-Rock to say this in real life? <laughs> Fuck all the poses. Uh, Fez, I had an update here from our Feast Side Dave. Yes. Fez is lying about lying. Uh, Fez is uh, taking names and out in games. 866. Oh, he's playing games and out in names. Only here on the Ron and Fez show. Uh, Mac in Atlanta, you're on Ron and Fez. Hey, Ronnie, how you doing? Yeah. Question for Fezzy. Heard he called Sheepy a faggot, and I didn't think uh, Fezzy liked that word. Let's go back and check when Fez outed Sheepy. The faggot of the opera. Uh, when you outed Sheepy, Fezzy, uh, were you telling the truth? Sheepy and I had some talks. That's not what I asked you. Right. You you outed him as being gay. Well, I obviously wasn't telling the truth because he's with this chick now. Okay, so uh, just swear to God, and then we'll move on. No, I don't. I don't want to swear to God. Swear to Jesus. No, or his son. Swear on your dad's life, and then we'll move on. It's no big deal. No, I'd rather not do that. Ask him about not in the best of health. Why don't you do this? Uh, swear on your nephew's eyes. <laughs> swear right now on your nephew's eyes. I'll get that down, and we'll move on. It'll never come up again, and it'll be our mistake. He really needs those eyes. Mm. He's not very good at baseball. What else do you need eyes for? Uh, guy, guy, you're on the fist. Uh, Rob? Uh, hold on. I got an update from our Feastside Aid. Uh, we're having an outing party. You're next, Scott Hamilton. And then it just says, uncomfortable. Yeah, that mm. was really, the last few seconds. Keep in mind, this says this was 10 seconds ago. Yeah. I think it was actually 15 <laughs> seconds ago where you and Fez were talking to each other. Uncomfortable. It was really uncomfortable. <laughs> well, it always is uncomfortable when Fez and I are uh, outing each other. Uh, you didn't even say allegedly. You just put it out there. Put it out there. Hopefully his new girlfriend isn't listening. No. Well, she's is she even American? I mean, I don't know this lady. I can't tell. She's upside down in the photo. Did anything happen between you and Sheepy? Maybe. <gasps> Seriously? Ma uh, nothing, nothing serious. What happened? Maybe, maybe a uh, handhold. Maybe, I'm going to say this. Uh, now, Dave, I'd like to apologize to you. The Beatles were bigger. I want to hold your hand. It's still <laughs> rocking the... Uh, Influencing. You guys are walking around holding hands. So you're a little mad about this girl thing. Well, I'm, I was... You're disappointed? Do you feel used? I don't blame you, Fez. I don't blame you because here you were, palm the palm. I was trying to help. Um, and you're sitting there trying to uh, recruit. And what do you come up with? 
Now, this is what this is what he said. Nice big faggot of the opera hat for outerwear. <laughs> Shippy. Shippy. Say that something. I want to hold your hand. I want to hold your hand. I want to hold your hand. Sheepy. Please say to me. Sheepy. I want to hold your hand. I want to hold your hand. I want to hold your hand. And when I touch you, I will feel happy. It's a <laughs> oh, in my ass. It's such a feeling that my love, I can't hide. I can't hide. I can't hide. Nice big faggot of the opera hat for outerwear. Wow. We have taken an odd, odd turn today. And I know it is, I mean, obviously, I'm happy for Sheepy, mainly Fezzy, mm -hmm. because he seems to be happy. But even more important, our side got him back. You tried your little trick. It didn't work out. Apparently, nothing I spoke to him about took. And yet he made a statement to you that you repeated back to the rest of us when you outed him. And now this girl is inning him. And we immediately have to get her on the show. We've got to get her in here. I want an exclusive. Okay. And I want to turn this into a hair pulling match between her and Watley. Well, I got an update. Have the advantage on that I one. got an update from RFE side Dave. Another? Fez and Sheepy held each other. It was hands. Well, we're outing people on the Run of Fez show. We're outing everybody but our own. Um, here is uh, Rob. Rob in Long Island. Yeah, I just want to know what it's busy. Did you hold anything else on sheet? Oh! That was it, Rob. Oh! That was it. Cock. Here's Pat in Florida. Pat. Hey there, Ronnie B. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I believe when Fezzy was talking about his date with Sheepy, that at the end of the night, there was a little bit of kissing going on there. Oh! oh! Frenchin. So apparently There's the no internet... tongue. The internet is a buzz. Uh, team uh, Fez versus Team Sheepy. Some people are saying, "Hey, if Fe if Sheepy said this to a radio personality, uh, then he has every right to be backstabbed." Other people said he said it to Fez in confidence, and Fez should have taken that on in the same way that Ron does for Fez. Well, it's interesting um, because I don't feel the need to out people. That's my that's not my thing. I don't get a power position from that. All right, we are going to uh break here. What is it that uh, Dave wants to bring back? Oh, um we uh had a an uh a drop for Out Your Friends Monday. Being that it's Out Your Friends Monday. All right, let me hear the drop. It's, it's out, out Your, your friends, friends Monday. Out, out Your Friends Monday. Monday. Out Your Friends. Out Your out Friends. Your friends. It's, it's out, out your, your friends, friends Monday. Monday. Out, out your, your friends, friends Monday. Monday. Buzz, I want you to know something. What's that? He waits for you to make an awful mistake, yes. and then he highlights it. Yeah, then he'll just go take Whip It Out Wednesday, whatever he can grab to put together what he calls his own promo. All right, let's take another listen to it. It's, it's out, out your friends, friends Monday. Monday. Out, out your friends, friends Monday. Monday. Out your friends. Out your friends. friends. It's, it's out, out your friends, friends Monday. Monday. Out, out your friends, friends Monday. Monday. Now you look like an idiot. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying that for outing Sheepy. Especially now that he's with a new girl. And particularly after the things that I heard you say even today about people uh, 
deciding that they can be out when they want to be. Um, should everybody in this room who heard that someone's gay, should they feel free to out that person? No. Again, I've made a horrible mistake. I'm a stupid idiot. But it, was but this it, a mistake? Nice big faggot of the opera hat for <laughs> outerwear. Why is it that you want the rest of us to live under one criteria where you live in another one? Because I'm a maniac. You know what my biggest fear in friends is? What's that? Recklessness. I just sometimes worry that a reckless friend can bring the whole thing down. You know how I would describe you, Fez? What? How? R reckless. Yeah. But then you're sorry after. Oh, I didn't know that would do it to you. I didn't know that would hurt you. I made a mistake. How's that help? What is today, anyway? What oh, is, it what is today? It's Out Your Friends Monday! Out Your Friends Monday! Out Your Friends. Out Your Friends. It's Out Your Friends Monday! Out Your Friends Monday! Uh, let me just say this. we You can get your out, Ron and Fez out bumper stickers, and that way, uh, people, uh, you will be free to uh, out people uh, whenever you want. Uh, Andrew, Andrew, you're on Ron and Fez. Ronnie B., what a coincidence. I want to know where can I get my out my friend's Monday bumper sticker. You know what? You can even make your own right now and just hang them up in the window. Okay. All right, peace. And then uh, when people drive past, they'll out themselves, I think. <laughs> or you out them. <laughs> Just yell, you're gay. Look at your car. Look at your hair. You're the worst thing I could call a person gay. This on the heels, Fezzi, of yesterday's gay rights parade. I guess some people have no rights, whether they out themselves at all. Big, big movie coming up, Fezzi. We're all going to go see it together. Our buddy Franklin is finally showing his film in a theater. It's Last Night in Brooklyn. It's going to be August 29th at the Anthology Film Archives in New York City, 32 Second Avenue. Again, that's August 29th. For tickets, you can go to lastnightinbrooklyn.com. Um, Franklin? Hey, guys. Did you get the 10 tickets bought by the Run and Fez show yet? I did. Very, very cool. Very cool. You guys started a little chain of ticket buyings. Good. Listen. I, I, I want to get it up on runfest.net, too. Oh, cool. Definitely. I'll put up a little post up there. Yo, y'all just, I got schooled listening to you guys just now. I'm sitting here, and Fez has said, uh, and I agreed with Fez, about there was no real cultural bias in testing, right? Mm -hmm. Then my girl turns up to me, and she goes, well, you know, I'm doing the SATs, and the word regatta came up, and she knows the word regatta. I know the word regatta. But we realize it's because we're kind of more involved with white culture as we were growing up. Sure. How many people know the word regatta if you're not in that culture? And if that means that one question just got wrong right right off the bat. But but let's face it, and uh, again, instead of you know having different tests, you'd think they would do a better job of thinking about those things. Exactly. And again, I don't know if testing is ever the criteria I don't know if there's any fucking testing that people could do to say, oh, you would be better in radio than somebody else. And, you know, you really only have to be able to, to get into it and keep fucking trying it over and over. So a lot of the times, particularly when managing people, the test scores may be the worst possible thing to go by. Exactly. I mean, you, you can't test common sense. I know people with no common sense who are the best test takers ever. Hold on. Uh, here's uh, Pat wants to uh, jump in with you. Hey, Pat, you're on Fez. Hey, Ronnie B. Yeah, uh, did I just hear Franklin say he was talking to his girlfriend? Because I always thought he was gay. Well, here's the thing. If he was gay, uh, Fez would have outed him by now because what? it's... It's Out Your Friends Monday. Out Your Friends Monday. Out Your Friends. Out your friends. friends. It's, it's out, out your friends, friends Monday. Out your friends Monday. Uh, Fez's Gaydar is going to be up every single uh, Monday, and he's going to tell us who is the... The faggot of the opera. 
Wow. Are you going to run out of friends on Mondays? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I know uh, Fez and I, I see, I guess we're going to be at war, a uh, radio war against the Watch Show. Oh, and no. Rightfully, no. Uh, the word is, though, you ought to uh, lay low next Monday, just in case. Just in case. <laughs> All right. Talk to you later, Frank. All right, man. Peace. Peace. Uh, Wayne, you're on my Fez. Hey, Ronnie B. No time to wait for my bumper sticker. I just wrote OYFM in the dirt in the back of my truck. It Watch works, the guys. Center. Trust yeah. me. Out, out your, your friends, friends Monday. Monday. Out, out your friends, friends Monday. Monday. Out your friends. Out, out your friends. friends. This is out your friends Monday. This is the greatest, the greatest promotion in the history of radio. Other people try to rip us off without your friends Monday, but you saw it here today. Fez outed somebody who I guess believed in you. Oh, totally believed in me. Not only believed in me, but trusted me as well. Mm. Maybe he won't hear about it. Well, I doubt that. Yeah. It's the Run of Fez show. Guess the Twitter, Fez. Guess the Twitter. The Twitter simply says, uh, Fez's favorite car is an Alti. I'm going to guess friend over famous. And I'm going to guess our Feastside Dave. Uh, you're right. You've done it again. Maybe. Fez Watley outing people uh, said about a very good friend of ours today. Nice big faggot of the opera hat for outerwear. <laughs> Um, here's our good friend, the D Daily Leader. Yeah, you guys are hacks. Fucking Shock and Jock have been doing Out Your Friends Monday for years. You clearly ripped us off, Fez. Now, let me just say something about Shock and Jock, okay? The way they out people is totally different than the way Fez outs people. In other words, Fez's are true, I guess. And Fez only does it with his friends, uh, not celebrities hey. or people they hate. I think Leader, by the way, is mistaken. Shock and Jock don't do Out Your Friends Mondays. They do Fuck the Cunt Tuesdays. And mm -hmm. I think that's the problem with what... So he's... he's FTC Tuesdays? Yeah. So everyone knows that. Days are mixed up. So, yeah. By the way, uh, we need a new FTC uh, fucking shirt immediately. I know. I'll get on that. Although I do like the, um, you know, Out Me, I'm Irish. And then it just says... Uh, O. Watley and O. Bennington. <laughs> it's traditional. Yeah. Two different two different shows. Come on. Yeah, completely different. Uh, Dave, you're on Fez. Hey, Ron. I got that uh, new shirt that you guys sent me from uh, Out Your Friends Monday. It's got the arrow pointing to the left, and it just says on top, I'm with the fag. Yeah. Our merchandise is really, really getting better all the time. Uh... Here's our good friend, Foundry Music, Jeff. How's it going, guys? Hey, buddy. Yeah, I'm literally upset with Fez. Fez, for you what? there? Yes, for what? You know why he's upset, because I've mentioned it eight times on the show today. Fez, you, you're championing yourself as a defender of people's rights to choose their own sexuality. Chaz Bono, for example. Right. And the, re the reason why I'm upset is that you took Sheepy's choice away. Now all your listeners who respect your opinion are going to think uh, that this is true. And even if they don't, they're going to think it. And maybe the jokes are going to come out a little bit more frequently. And, you know, and, and uh, it, it doesn't really help uh, his new relationship with his uh, girlfriend either. I wonder if she's going to uh, start taking this as well. Well, I said, I mean, there's no taking it back now. But I said I was an absolute idiot and I was very careless. Reckless. Reckless. Reckless abandon. All right, fair enough. And uh, and I'm obviously wrong if he is with Brittany Pablo. So that's all it takes? Anybody can quit the team? Well, um, I guess, I guess uh, confusion reigns, at least uh, on my part. You know, but if he's with this girl, that's his choice. And so I, and if they're in a relationship, I guess I am wrong. But I mean, even the, like people in in in, uh, in your community, isn't that something that's like the most important milestone of their life? Choosing that moment, and I'm not saying that that CP is gay, uh, but I'm saying for anyone, isn't that like the most important moment in their life to uh, to do it on their own terms and and to choose how they're going to decide and who they're going to tell rather than just have it uttered to two countries? 
Yes, I would. I, I would absolutely say so. And I said it earlier I'd in the show. I'd say this: not just two countries, two superpowers. You got two different superpowers, literally listening to this program. Um, Fezzi, why'd you do it? Why'd you feel the need to? Uh, here's a, somebody that we all like, Sheepy. How many years have we said we hope Sheepy finds someone nice? We never even said what type of person. Just that we've always seen he's been an unhappy, clingy to the other uh, women type of guy. We always wanted to see him have his own life. Here he is doing it, and Fez uses this time to take him down a peg. I'm taking a lot of heat because I'm speaking up about it, and it doesn't seem to be a very... You're bringing more attention to it. Maybe so, but I mean, uh, he's not the type of guy who's going to, you know make a, a, a big deal out of it because that's just who he is. But I know in the back of his mind, or I feel that in the back of his mind, that he's you know deeply embarrassed by it. What is he embarrassed? Did anybody thought he was part of that uh, team? I would be. That would be the worst thing I could hear. Well, it was never anything to embarrass him with. I mean, it is the worst thing to call someone, right, Ron? It is. It's absolutely the worst. I don't think so. And uh, who's the girl that he's with now? Pablo. Brittany Pablo. Brittany Pablo. Right. If he's out with Tommy Bahama, who should care? It's Brittany Pablo. But what's the difference, Fez? You of all people should say, who should care? I mean, I see, it. On the see you later. Bright side. I never thought I'd see this. Fez Watley takes the collar to FM Jeff. The last two days, you've gotten pushed around by Mafia Life Chris, who, by the way, RonFez.net thought the two of you were working at, and both reading scripts that was so wooden. And now, Foundry Music Jeff. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> Foundry two Music Jeff lives. comes in here. <laughs> I mean, two real scumbags if we want to get to the brass what facts. What is happening with you? <laughs> I am an get idiot. I am a... I have what said, the hell's happening? <laughs> I am a I don't dumb. Don't have the water on me. I don't understand you anymore. It doesn't help. Forget that you said something about Sheepy. How are you taking the collar <laughs> to Foundry Music uh, uh, Jeff and Mafia Life Chris? If you check that Mafia Life Chris thread Mafia? on runfez.net, I am winning that poll, by the way. But read, not mm -hmm. just look at the poll. Read the fact that people thought you were working it. Well, that was no work. I will put that out there. You swear to God? I swear. It's something that you wouldn't do with Sheepy is straight. Mm -mm. Why don't you just back Sheepy up and swear to God and on your nephew's eyes that Sheepy straight. And we can all just drop this thing. I am not going to do that swearing. Oh, that's awful. I'll do it. I swear to God. She'd be straight. He's with the girl. What problem do I have with it? I've done it. The only good thing that happened was he happened to out Sheepy on Out Your Friends Monday. So at least that was a good coincidence. But I disagree, Dave. Yeah. He's out at Sheepy on the only day that I've been sure Sheepy's in. I've seen the picture. Um, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Uh, Mike, Mike, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Ron and Fez, I got Cherie Chibon. What do you got, buddy? Fez owes Cheapy a sincere, heartfelt apology. Uh, yeah, Fez What's out of Cheapy the, the other day. And, you know, really right now, that's got nothing to do with anything. If anything, that should be easy for you. Easier. You're using him as a blocker. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my offensive line. I, but yours turned out to be false because Sheepy has a cute girlfriend. Yeah, apparently he's with Brittany Pablo. <laughs> well, he's doing very well for himself. <laughs> so he's at the top of his game right now. By the way, there's a new Sheepy song uh, that's been written. Uh, well, these are now called Twitter songs, Fez? Yeah, this is Twitter songs. Uh huh. Basically, getting you know, it's a song, and you get it out fast, and it by sleeves. Sleeves is now writing Twitter songs that I think he only wants to use 140 characters. He wrote to me, 
So I said, yeah, we'd play any of your Twitter songs. Because we haven't gotten a sleeve song in a long time. Right. Uh, not since Fez outed him. So, um, and who has been old? Have, you know what? You would have been great in Nazi Germany, except for the pink triangle. <laughs> All right, let's take a uh, a quick listen to Sheepy's uh, new song uh, about sleeves. Now there's something deep inside of me that can't get touched by therapy. A secret or dishonesty. That's why I owe my friends. Because I thought you told me Sheepy was gay. Yeah. Not... Dating a very cute girl. Things have changed then. And what did he tell you? That he was gay. Twitter. Wow. Mm, that was a Twitter song. <laughs> uh, they go by very, very quickly. I didn't even quite understand it. Listen, listen to it again. This is Sleeve's Twitter song. Now there's something deep inside of me that can't get touched by therapy. A secret or dishonesty. That's why I owe my friends. Because I thought you told me she was gay. Yeah. Not dating a very cute girl. Things have changed then. Mm -hmm. What did he tell you? That he was gay. Twitter. Uh, here is uh, a song that uh, Fez wrote about Sheepy. The faggot of the opera. Is that the way you're going to? No. I was going to say. I was going to give out the secret accidentally. <laughs> no. Just ask your folks if they want to go to the opera. That was a long time ago. I don't say that word anymore. By the way, from what I understand, Sheepy's taking this well. It's not his own secrets that hurt him. Nice big faggot of the opera hat for outerwear. It's other, it's other secrets that just drop him. Somebody sent me this uh, Sheepy song. To, I guess this is a real song somewhere. Oh, little sheep, you have wanted for. Oh, Sheepy, oh, Sheepy, oh, Sheepy. We need Oh, I can't even stand that. That's too unbearable. I'd rather play this. The faggot of the opera. I'd rather we didn't. And yet you're the one who said it. Yes, years and years ago when I was a different person. While judging the rest of us. And not only judging the rest of us, uh, quite a few celebrities, including Mr. Mickey Rourke, perhaps the most gay-friendly celebrity ever who drops his Fez calls it the F-bomb wherever he can. Let me hear the Sheepy Twitter song again, please. It's very fast. Now there's something deep inside of me that can't get touched by therapy. A secret or dishonesty, that's why I owe my friends. Fez, I thought you told me Sheepy was gay. Yeah, not dating a very cute girl. Things have changed then. Mm -hmm. And what did he tell you? That he was gay. Twitter. The faggot of the opera. I'm putting a mix on it right now. I'm trying to make the gray album. I think that takes it over 140 characters. Well, the, who's the one who said it? I said that. I know you did. said it a lot, as a matter of fact. Nice big faggot of the opera hat for <laughs> outerwear. Well, at least we got a big sheepy hit now we can play. So it's exciting. Thanks to uh, Sleeves and his Twitter songs. Sleeves, you can hear all his stuff at RadioGhost.com. Actually, Ron, um, I put together a Sheepy song as well. Because you heard Sleeves do it? That's um, your way of being original? Yeah, well, I thought, I, I, I'd like to contribute to this Sheepy song-making craze that's going it's on. It's true what they said. The monkey does do. Anyway, I, I wore... You know something? It black hurts. people are so scared of black. I think it's funny when you're against gays, but when you go against blacks... Me and Earl were offended there. And Obama. Yeah. And the children. Spud Webb. I but forget their names. Sasha Spud Malia. Webb's that can't be it. Come on. I think it's Mary Kate and Ashley. <laughs> That's his girls. Yeah, so I put together a sheepy song as well. Just like sleeves. And you're wearing a, a shirt of Fez's favorite movie. Remember when you used to wear that shirt, Fez, and we all used to laugh? Oh, yeah. So Way to just hijack some things. Don't hassle me. I'm local. And my wife bought it for me. You know, I'm... Yep. That Why? wife, that she, she knows exactly what she's doing. <laughs> How would she know what's in your T-shirt repertoire? I, I don't think she... As a matter of fact, um, she, your wife has a Twitter song uh, about Fez. The faggot of the opera. Am I wrong or does it get funnier every time you say it? It's hysterical. Less. It's hysterical. You are wrong. I'm laughing on the inside. I noticed it bothers you less. A couple days ago, you're ready to cry. Now he's a little smirk, a little happy smirk. Like it's <laughs> it fun. bothers me. It's fun to put down minorities. 
I agree with you, Fez. You ought to get a pointy hat when you go home, like the rest of the family. <laughs> what are you laughing about over there? <laughs> it's just fun. It's a fun I day. Hats on him. He's <laughs> <local>. <laughs> It is a fun day. It's a drinking show. It is? Yeah. We're going to have you drink against HDG like the old days. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go back to the old days. Remember when you guys were happy? Fucking A. <laughs> I'm still happy. Well, that's because you still drink. Good point, Um honey. So you wrote a sheepy song. I did write a sheepy song. All right. Uh, let's take a listen. This is uh, this is his sheepy song, Fezzy. Thanks to you making sheepy somewhat famous by being the outing man, as you like to call yourself. <laughs> uh, that was Elephant Man. Whatever. Either way, your back hurts. This rump ranger, fudge packer, the cocksucker, the jizz guzzler, what a butt pirate, of the com queen, the tinkerbell, faggot, cocksucker, the fudge packer, faggot, faggot, faggot. faggot. <laughs> that is... All right, so somebody's <laughs> do, been doing some archive work. Some of them just, sound fresh. I found some things around, lying hey, around. You left one out that would have really brought down the house. <laughs> <laughs> let me take. Let, <laughs> let me take another listen. This rump ranger, fudge packer, the cocksucker, the jizz guzzler, what a butt pirate, of the com queen, the Tinkerbell, faggot. Cocksucker. The fudge packer. Faggot. 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 <laughs> That's all being taken out of context. <laughs> doesn't matter the context. I know I got that from you. Context doesn't matter. Some words hurt. That's like what I was told. I don't know why he, he put so much echo on that last <laughs> faggot. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I don't know why I did that with my voice. When Dave says it, it sounds worse. <laughs> Does it? It does. And now because here's what it's, I hate about it's with this. venom. But here's what I hate about it, Fez. Because of you, you've opened it up for racists like himself. Well, I guess you wouldn't be a racist. What would you be? Homophobe. All right, homophobe. A fag hater. Uh, you, see, now you made it I'm okay. Sorry. And I want this to be a beacon of light. So did I. And it's not okay, Dave. It's ruined, and the whole vacation's ruined. I, it's just a little mix. It's, a, it's like a little, well, a little vacation mix. This is the work you do? It's a little. We're well, going away. you guys, though. Huh? Uh, here is uh, Mike. Mike, you're on Run of Fez. Hey, what's up, Ron? I yeah. got a question for you. How do you call Ron, uh, Fez a minority? Well, his mom's a wildebeest. <laughs> well, okay, that makes fine. But I, uh, I hope you well, want to represent him being gay. Well, without, uh, uh, without giving away the secret, uh -huh. is that minority status? Because I know you're, uh, those folks are protected from hate crime. Right, so I would think minority, but I don't think you answer it like on a census. Yeah, but you can't bounce somebody at work for it, right? Right, yeah, there are some protections. Well, that seems like minority to me. I say minority. Hope it's never a majority. Like I say about all the minorities. Really? Hope you never make it to majority. <laughs> Let's keep all the my Dear Jesus. Don't pray. Keep all Why? Cause you <laughs> just because you don't believe as I can't? Sorry, Jesus, I was interrupted by one of them. Listen to the song, Jesus. You're not praying, you're whispering. That's the same thing, isn't it? No. That's what I used to say in school. I'm just praying with the person next to me. <laughs> no ways they ate in school when they called the person next to your your neighbor. They would be going like this. Don't talk to your neighbor. I go, Mr. Adams is never going to come walking into a second grade class. I know the man. <laughs> I hated that term neighbor. <laughs> and what did they call the bathroom at your school? Um, they called it the boys' room. We had laboratory. We had that, too. What a fucking stupid name. And then also where we put our coats was called the cloak room. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. you know, what is this, fucking revolutionary wartime? <laughs> I have no cloak. <laughs> <laughs> the British are here. Just putting my cloak up for a while. The Someone's got their tritons. Oh, right away, I knew school was stupid. <laughs> Fucking day one, I turned around to, to my neighbor and said, this is the dumbest place I've ever been. Hopefully, it's the dumbest place I ever will be. People are fucking morons. We also had cubbies. What was that what you used to call your balls? No. <laughs> it was these cubby holes where you would put your stick. stuff. 
No, it was like a little shelf. It was like a little square hole in the Ew. wall. You could stick oh. things in. Oh. Oh. I am talking about oh. <laughs> the faggot of the opera. Sorry, yeah. Fez. We're trying to build you up. So you used to stick the other kids where? It was children didn't go in them. Yeah. It was cubby holes. We had cubbies. Mm. Mm. We used to call ours assholes. <laughs> and cocks. And cum. All right, stop it. <laughs> Cunts. I'm going to tell you right now, even that shirt makes you look dumber. <laughs> no. Did you want to apologize to Sheepy for real, though? Or does he not even need it? I don't think he needs it. Because I'm... even if you're wrong, it's just nothing to be ashamed of? Exactly. Hmm, and he is with the fabulous Brittany that's Pablo. That's the fact that you put it that way, geez, really bothers me. It's Monday, and Ron and Fez back from vacation. Hey, Mark, uh, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Mark, go ahead, buddy. Hey, Ronnie, how you doing? Good. Uh, I just wanted to know if Fezzy was going to out two people for Monday today because he missed last Monday. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Since Fez started outing people on the air, we've become a... Uh... It's Out Your Friends Monday! Out Your Friends Monday! Out Your Friends. Out Your Friends. Who are you outing today, Fezzy? I am not outing anyone today. You gotta out two people for uh, your big day. It's, it's Out Your Friends Monday! Out Your Friends Monday! Out Your Friends. Out Your Friends. And now remember, you can get your uh, your friend Monday uh, bumper stickers from us, or just make one up if you need to. Or what I like to do, write it in the back of a dirty truck, and it's out your friends Monday, um, out your friends every Monday. It's, it's out, out your friends Monday. Monday. Out, out your friends Monday. Out your friends. Out, out your friends. friends. Uh, last week you outed someone, Fez. Who are you outing today? I am not outing anyone. I don't out people. I make mistakes from time to time and things slip out of my big mouth, but right. I do not out people. Out your friends Monday. We got to do two. Let's do Derek and Romaine from uh, Sirius uh, Radio Zone. Derek and Romaine on. It's out your friends Monday. Out your friends Monday. Out your friends. Out your friends. Friend. Fuzzy, you just don't seem yourself today. What's going on, big guy? I'm just, you know, I'm just nutty. I, you know, I had a lot going on on vacation, and I'm just really, I feel just absolutely nuts today. Not that different. <laughs> that doesn't seem all that different to me. No, it's not. Well, you seem like you don't want to be here today. No, I want to be here today. I definitely want to be here. Then remember your new bit. It's, it's out, out your friends Monday. Out your friends Monday. Out your friends. Out your friends. friends. Can I just put Derek and Romaine on my out sticker? Sure. Okay. It's, it's out, out your friends Monday. I did not out, out your friends Monday. Out your friends. Out your friends. Out your friends. Did uh, Sheepy come to your big party, uh, Dave? Yes, he did. He was the first of the... It's Out Your Friends Monday! Out Your Friends Monday! Out Your Friends. Out Your Friends. Friend. How's he dealing with being outed? Um, I think he was still a little bit bothered by it.